The 2019 Ford Ranger Lariat. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over all the standard as well as optional equipment on that Lariat trim of the 2019 Ford Ranger. This is going to be a very thorough video. Uh, what I like to do in these videos is go around and talk about the standard equipment first, uh, going around the outside and on the inside, and then I talk about the different equipment groups, uh, packages, and standalone options. So I'll have all the timestamps if you're watching this on YouTube down below. So if you want to move around in the video, if you get a little bored on one section, you want to move ahead, you can do that using those timestamps stamps and if you want to be curious on those prices on those packages you can check for those prices down below as well also I'll have the other videos that we're doing in the series we've already done an XLT so if you'd like to see that video it'll be linked in the description as well as I'll uh, have a little uh, playlist at the end that has all the Rangers in one playlist so uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video so let's go ahead and get started first talking about safety uh, now this has the same safety precautions as your XLT trim does as well uh, first starting inside of course your airbags dual stage airbags on the front driver and front passenger will have those airbags up there also safety canopy airbag that's going to come down beside and to help with any kind of rollovers you might have for protecting those the, from those side collisions and stuff such like that also you're going to have with this one you're going to have perimeter alarm as well as you're going to have that secure lock and a theft system as well so you're going to have that so if people reach through uh, they'll it'll go off if they try to open the doors and they don't have the keys on them or, or unlock the vehicle so that way it kind of protects it and you have that security or perimeter alarm with this system here also this does have your uh, for your super crew models we'll have the child locks uh, on those outside on the doors there so that way they can't open those up and you also have a latch system at lower anchors and tethers for children as well there and this one has a standard equipment on all of your rangers is the pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection so it's going to include pedestrian detection includes the front sensing system as well as it's going to have emergency auto braking or that dynamic brake support for you too so it's going to detect if there's some Going much slower than you, uh, that you need to stop, put a series of lights on the dash in tones that the person is stopped. And if you don't hit your brakes, you're going to uh, run into them. If you're going over 30 miles an hour, it actually hit uh, help with brake support, so it so lessens that severity of that accident. So uh, keep that in mind. That's a great system that is now standard equipment in all your Rangers, along with the Copilot 360 Assist, which we're going to talk about in just a second. Now let's talk about this Copilot 360. Now this is a system that is going to be standard equipment on your Rangers. One of three vehicles for 2019 that's become standard equipment and for 2020 models it will roll out to them as well. Uh, it's a really great system because it does include that pre-collision assist as we talked about but also includes some other great features as well. One of those being your lane keeping system. So lane keeping system has three functions to that. You have your driver alert which is going to alert you if you take your hands off the steering wheel for, uh, too often uh, or if you use the system too much it's going to alert you and let you know that maybe you need to pull over you may even drink a cup of coffee or something to keep yourself awake so that's a part of that system also you get the lane keeping uh, system there or the alert system I should say where if you leave your lane it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know that you're departing from that lane so that's uh, something that's part of the system too and then you have the aid system a lot of other uh, manufacturers don't have the aid system that's going to use torque vectoring so as you get close to that line it's going to actually bump it and use torque vectoring to bring you back into your lane so what's great about in the system in that settings that it, you can actually control decide if you want the alert the aid or if you want both of those activated within that system so I do recommend both and, and when it comes from the factory it's usually only going to be on the alert system uh, so you'll need to switch that over in your settings screen uh, in there under the driver assist feature so that's going to be part of the system as well you're also going to get your bliss system that's a blind spot information system with cross traffic alert what's great about that is if there's someone in your blind spot it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time also as you're backing up if someone's going to cross your path behind you it's going to alert you with the light in the mirror on that side that they're coming from puts a message on the dash telling if they're coming from the left or the right in a series of tones and it's not safe to back up so i love this system also if you decide to, to pull a trailer with this we'll also include trailer monitoring to go along with that so love the bliss system as well as part of this uh, these features here also you're going to get the uh, rear view camera so as you're backing up you're going to be able to see behind you not standard about every vehicle but is a cover within this also you're gonna get auto high beams so auto high beams work a lot like your automatic headlights uh, so if there's someone no one in front of you it's gonna go ahead and automatically turn those uh, high beams on uh, if there's someone approaches you if you're in the city lights it's gonna go ahead and, and dim that off so that's a great system that's also going to be part of this copilot 
Pilot 360. That is a feature that if you decide you don't like, um, maybe because you're in town a lot and it comes on and off, you can deactivate that in your settings screen under to the lighting features of the driver assist feature. So uh, definitely go in there, uncheck that box, and it'll deactivate that. So you want to make sure if that is something you do want, Make sure they are set when you go into the settings screen for that as well. So again, this is a great package. Copilot 360 uh, is wonderful. I think it's a lifesaver and it's going to be included with all of your Rangers. And before we get to talking about the styling on the front, let's go ahead and talk about the configurations for your cab and your beds there. You have two different configurations. You can have a super cab, and if you do got the super cab, you will always have a six foot bed as your only bed option there. And then for the super cab, you can open up the front doors to get to the rear doors back there, and it gives you a little bit of room. I'm going to talk more about interior, but here's a real little clip there for you to be able to see you know how much kind of room you have back there so really the super cab is not really made uh, for a lot of people to sit back there going to be very cramped for uh, someone that's not uh, probably an infant or a small child uh, so just keep that in mind and then your other configuration is a super crew which is like the vehicle you're seeing here with the four full-size doors it'll have a five foot bed instead of a six foot but a lot more room for those in the back seat to be able to sit back there uh, probably for shorter trips this you know if you're wanting something with a lot of leg room for the back seats you're going to want to go to f-150 this is really for that adventure in mind that's going to have some people back there from time to time so those are two configurations of course two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive is an option in both cab configurations there uh, there is one engine uh, that's available. It is a 2.3 liter four-cylinder EcoBoost engine, one of the most powerful engines of any other vehicle in its class in this mid-sized truck category with 275 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. So lots of power behind it. A lot of people that have been testing this across the market were really impressed with this engine and the capabilities and how it performs. Also, it's going to come with a 10-speed automatic transmission. So paired with that 10-speed, it's going to be geared out just right and get great performance for you. Uh, so I think you'll really be happy with that one. Uh, it, it will come with the auto start stop technology as well. And what's great about that is when you pull up that stoplight or stop sign, it'll automatically turn the vehicle off. Uh, conserve on, on fuel is the, is the goal there and then it will also then when you let go of the brake it'll turn it back on now if for some reason it needs the, uh, the the power from the engine to maybe it's really cold outside or really hot you need to run that air conditioning it's going to go ahead and, and, and start it up and run that as well if that's something you don't like you want to deactivate it there's a button right in front of the shifter up there where you can go ahead and then shut deactivate that for that trip so uh, that's something to keep in mind now let's talk about fuel economy since I kind of mentioned it uh, right there uh, that is, these vehicles so we'll get pretty good fuel economy. I think the two-wheel drives are slated right around 21 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway, where the 4x4s I think are listed right around 20 miles per gallon in the city and about 24 miles per gallon on the highway. So that's kind of what you're going to be expecting with those. Now let's go ahead and get started talking about the style and now we got all the performance and the configurations out of the way. Up here on, on these, on your lariats is what we're talking about here, you're going to have your chrome grill. So chrome surround with the Ranger in there with a chrome two-bar grill up here too. So real nice. A little bit uh, smaller scale than the F-150, but a great look. We'll have your molded in black behind there uh, as well, back there too. So it looks real sharp. I love the headlights as well. They are gonna be automatic. They are gonna be for your Lariat's LED headlights. Your low beam and high beams will be LEDs up here. You also get halogen fog lights down here as well. So a great looking uh, headlight automatic feature, of course, as well. So, you know, we have an auto setting. It's gonna automatically turn those headlights on when it gets dark. Of course, turn them off when it gets light out. So love the look of that and headlight as well, uh, too. And we're going to talk about some other features. This one has a little bit different look to it, uh, but we'll, we'll get to the different packages here in just a little bit. Uh, the bumpers, this one is actually it's a chrome package truck, so it's going to look a little bit different than the uh, stock uh, standard Lariat. So I'm going to give you some footage online of what those look like. So we'll get body colored bumpers up here. Uh, you're seeing will be different than these chrome ones. And then you're going to also have an air dam down there as well. This one is deleted because this does have the FX4 package, which again, what's well, another package we're going to talk about in a little bit. So I'm kind of excited about getting to that. But let's, we're just talking about standard equipment first. Front sensing system is standard equipment on all your Rangers, or on your Lariats. So as you're pulling up, it's going to alert you uh, with those sensors if you get too close to anything. They use those sensors for the uh, also the front collision uh, warning as well. And so that's why you're going to have that uh, now standard equipment on these. Uh, so you can use it as you're pulling in the driveways and parking spaces as well up there. So real nice. Um, it, two hooks up here on the front as well. They will be black. Uh, until you go to maybe a chrome package or something like that and we'll, we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. So great features here on the front, great look to it as well. Let me know what you think down in the comments.
Now as we move around to the side, the standard wheel is going to be an 18 inch uh, machine aluminum wheel with a stealth gray painted pocket. So I'm going to give you a clip of what that looks like off the internet since this is a chrome package truck that we have here. Also your wheel lip moldings over here are going to be body colored as well. Uh, so that, that looks real nice and sharp as it just kind of blends everything uh, together there. Over here on the, the fender vent, this is a functional vent to kind of help cool off that engine, that EcoBoost. It's going to have a chrome accent around it with a Ranger and Lariat on there too. So it's going to be specific to the Lariat trim so people will know that you have a Lariat. Your mirrors, they are going to be a body colored mirror cap instead of the chrome what you're seeing here. Uh, so that's going to be standard equipment. You're going to have turn signal indicator on the outside. You're going to also have power heated uh, glass there for you. So it's going to heat that off and, you know, when you have it on defrost and such. Uh, security approach set that's going to light the ground beside the vehicle as well as so you use your keyless entry. And it will have power fold mirror features, standard equipment on this. So there's a little switch right above your power, uh, the power mirror switch there, and that's going to allow you to power fold it towards the glass. So it uh, comes in real handy, just press it in. Uh, when it's in, it's of course uh, folded in towards the glass, and then you just uh, depress it, and it's going to go ahead and bring it out. Body color door handles are going to be standard equipment on your Lariat trim. And this will also come standard equipment with your intelligent access. That allows you to leave that key fob in your pocket. You just walk up, put your hands in the door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle for you. And you can set up your settings to unlock just the driver's door or all four of the doors. It's really up to your preference there. And then uh, when you get inside, you don't have to use, get the keys out to start it either. And I'll show you what that looks like when we get inside the vehicle. When you get out, just press the uh, black ridges on any of the doors. And it's going to go ahead and lock it up for you. So again, that comes in real handy uh, as well. I also do have the keyless key fob as well. So you can unlock and lock the vehicle from a distance if you need to. Uh, so that's also can help you to light that security approach lamp beside the vehicle too on uh, that way. So I think you'll like that. Also you're going to have the molded in black across here on that belt line. You're going to also have standard equipment is going to be a privacy glass on these back windows uh, and then the back glass. So whether it be a super crew or a super cab these back windows will have the privacy glass on those does have the easy fuel capless filler doors. The last feature we want to talk about here on the side. And what's great about that is you don't have to worry about a cap you losing it or leaving it behind or getting your hands dirty. You just uh, get your pump, just go ahead and put it in there. It's going to fill it up for you. If you uh, run out of gas and you happen to need a, a tank, you want to make sure you use that funnel because otherwise the gas uh, can uh, will not, nozzle will not fit in there. It's, it's really made for those gas pumps. So that way people can't uh, get into that for you. So real nice. I love how that works. It seals up. We've been using the easy fuel capless filler door for many, many years years, maybe almost 10 years, and it's, it works great. I love it as a great feature here on the side. Now as we move to the back, first I want to talk about this tailgate because it really brings through the Ford truck family in here having the Ranger stamped across the back like you see with the F-150 and your Super Duty. So I love that uh, Ford has done that with the Ranger as well. Your door handles as well as your bumpers are going to be body colored uh, just like your door handles and your front bumpers up there. Your tailgate or, app, or the back here on the uh, back of the tailgate I should say is the Ford emblem. You will have that's where your rear view camera is positioned so it's angled just perfectly so to see behind you. And it does have reverse sensing as well on these bumpers that's standard equipment on your Lariats. I believe it might be even standard equipment on your XLTs. LED tail lights back here as well. So just like the front ones, LEDs are so much brighter. They're going to last longer for you as well, uh, having these LEDs back here too. So the tailgate does lock with your, um, your doors do. And oh, before I get to that, let me talk about this bumper here. This does have the tow hitch on it. And we're going to talk about that. And that's part of the tow package that this has on it as well. You will get four pin wiring. So if you want to put a ball in the bumper, you're going to be able to pull uh, some of those uh, small trailers. Now I didn't mention about towing before. The Ranger actually has the most capable towing if you have that trailer tow package than any other vehicle in its class at 7,000 pounds. So that's something to keep in mind if you're looking to tow anything with your Ranger. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's uh, already unlocked so we can open that tailgate. In here you're going to see the six tie downs, three on each side of the bed. Allows you to be able to tie down any cargo you might have back there pretty easily. Let's talk about this back glass. It does have rear defrost with the manual side rear window back there as well. And the center high mounted stop line up there also is going to have LED cargo lighting for it too. So those uh, LED lights on both sides of the red uh, uh, backup light there or the, your brake lights there I should say. It's going to light up this bed a lot brighter having LEDs back here. Now moving to their interior, you have two different color interiors that are available for you. You have an ebony interior or you have a medium stone interior. So I'm going to give you a, a kind of a glimpse across the dash of this uh, ebony interior as you can see because the, the dash is going to look the same regardless if uh, you have the ebony or the medium uh, stone interior. So it's going to be black on the, the top part of the dash as well as the lower part. And love the high gloss black or that gray finish 
here on the you know, above the console here with the Ranger in there, as well as uh, here on your uh, Sync 3 screen, which we're going to talk about in just a little bit. So great look. Even has that on the doors too, as you look at it. Real smooth finish to it. So I love that. Your headliner is going to be this medium stone uh, color, whether you go with the ebony or the medium stone. And then if you go with the ebony interior, your seats and the door inserts are going to be ebony like you're seeing here. And then when you go to the, the medium stone, it's going to change out those seats as well as the uh, inserts in the doors and your armrest, your console cover here to that, that color. So just so you know what that's going to look like between those two different color interiors for you. Now, these seats here are going to be leather seating surfaces when you go to the Lariat. So I love these. has a nice stitching on those as well. You're going to see that same stitching across the dash. Uh, hopefully, you got a good clip of that earlier. So you're going to have that. Your dual power seats, eight-way for the driver and front passenger, including your power lumbar. You'll still have the manual on backrest, but that'll be the only thing that's manual on these seat features here. Back seat is going to seat three back there on your Super Crew models. And then your Super Cabs will have uh, two foldable seats back there. They will be leather trimmed, whether it be the Super Cab or the Super Crew. You have an armrest on the Super Crew model back there. Behind the console, you're going to get two USB ports. You're going to also get a PowerPoint back here too, or a 110 outlet, I should say. So you can plug in any three-pronged devices like computers or any kind of cell phones and that kind of thing as well. Here on the door, you're going to have power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one-touch for the driver's window over here. Uh, and then your mirror switches will actually be to the uh, just right here by the vent for you. We kind of showed you what that looked like earlier, right above your headlights there. Leather wrap steering wheel is going to be standard equipment on your Lariat. Love the stitching on that. It's going to match up with the stitching on the seats and the dash. Uh, on the left side of the, the steering wheel here, we're going to have a couple of different controls I want to show you. One is the D-pad right there on the top, and that's going to control your productivity screen there to the left of your speedometer. So it's a 2.0-inch uh, screen there, or actually a 4.2 it looks like. A little bit bigger screen there on the, the left side where your settings are going to be. Uh, and then below that is where you're going to see your cruise control as well, uh, right there, easy to get to. Now on the right side of the steering wheel, you're going to see the D-pad on the top. That's going to control your Microsoft Sync technologies over there uh, to the right side of the speedometer right there. You can control those with that D-pad. And then below that is where you're going to be able to make and receive phone calls. You uh, have your audio controls as well with volume and some other things, muting the audio right there as well at your fingertips there. So I love how that works. It's going to have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So just pull this lever under here and it's going to go up and down, forward and back. So you can move it just right where you need to and then go ahead and lock it into place. To the right of that is where you're going to see your push button start right there. Now for your climate, it does have dual zone auto climate control, so the driver and front passenger are going to have two different temperatures. Also does have heated seats for the driver and front passenger as well. Didn't mention that earlier when we talked about the seating configuration. Uh, and then just below your climate control, you're going to see two power points down there where you can be able to power those uh, different um, uh, plug-ins there for different devices and then if you still have those power points. And then below that is the media hub. So let me talk about that real quickly. You're going to have two smart USB ports down there as part of the uh, sync technology here. So you can plug in those smartphones, not only powering those devices, but allowing you to be able to use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay uh, if you have one of those and you want to run that through. It's going to have that feature right there too. And then for your, let's go ahead and talk about the Sync 3 since we just mentioned it. So this will come with Sync 3 as standard equipment on your Lariat. So it's going to be that third generation voice and hand recognition system with an 8 inch touchscreen here. So you can make and receive phone calls. Uh, you have your uh, your entertainment through there as well. And then uh, it, we'll talk about, it. there's optional navigation as well. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a little bit as an optional package. But if you get that, it'll have that capabilities right there. Your rear view camera is going to come into view and that full 8 inch screen right here in the middle of the dash there. Uh, you're going to have auto dimming rear view mirror up here, standard equipment on these. So that's going to be uh, coming real handy when those cars want to come up behind you with those bright lights and automatically dim that mirror. On the visor, garage door opener, standard equipment on your Lariat. So you can control up three different garage doors or transmitters, uh, being able to uh, open those doors and not have to worry about that clipping onto your sun visor when you flip it down, falling off into your lap or anything like that. Uh, so that's going to come standard equipment as well. And then let's go ahead and, oh, overhead console as well. We'll have a sunglass holder up here too, so you can put sunglasses in there. And then your lights, your interior lights, where you can control those up there as well there. Now let's talk about this console here. I kind of mentioned that media hub, big enough room down there as well for those uh, smartphones or anything else you want to put down there, wallet, something like that down there. And then you do have, we got, if you have your 4x4 models, you're going to have the 4x4 shift on the fly. 
We're going to talk about that TM that's in the middle there in just a little bit. That's actually part of the FX4 off-road package, as well as some of the buttons in front of that. Uh, some of those also are part of the FX4 off-road package, and we'll get into that too a little bit. Those are two buttons on the bottom, the traction control, as well as your turning off your reverse sensing will be standard equipment on your Lariats as well. So those buttons will be there. And then uh, your, I mentioned the 10-speed automatic transmission does come with select shift as well, which means that you, if you put it in that S mode there, it's going to go ahead and, and put it in more of a sport mode. So you can shift it up and down like a manual transmission. Use those little buttons beside the shifter knob right here. So uh, that's real nice as well. And then leather-wrapped uh, shifter uh, boot here as well as on your brake. So you're going to have that too. Now this console here, and a real nice armrest, padded armrest. Uh, I've been leaning my arm on it for a while now, but then you can open that up. Gives you a little little tray in the front there we can put maybe a pin or something like that as well as a bigger compartment to put some things in down there as well uh so pretty easily there so that's that's gonna be nice for you as well so again everything we've mentioned oh almost forgot it uh, does come with ambient lighting as well and that's going to light up the foot wells and your door handles for you well it does not light up the cup holders it doesn't look like it here uh, that i can see also, it's going to come with carpeted mats, and they are a little bit different on the Lariat, so they're going to have uh, the Ranger logos are going to look a little bit different for your Lariat floor mats, and they're going to be here in the footwells here in the front, I believe, and I believe there's uh, one, the ones, little smaller ones for the back for those Super Crew models as well back there. So, uh, real nice equipment, a standard equipment, but let's go ahead and talk about, if you want to maybe upgrade just a little bit more, let's talk about some other packages and equipment groups that are available for you. Another feature that's going to be standard equipment that I forgot to mention uh, just a second ago is the Ford Pass Connect. Now, Ford Pass Connect is going to be standard equipment on your Rangers. And what's great about that is it allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So it's a free app that you can download. And what's great about the, that, you put your vehicle in, you actually go ahead and activate your modem on your vehicle because uh, it does have embedded modem in here. Uh, that allows you to be able to do all kinds of neat features with your vehicle using that app. So you can remote start your vehicle from anywhere using that app so you can just log into the app remote start your vehicle you can even what really i like about it is you can schedule remote start times to make sure you remote start the vehicle every morning if you want to weekdays weekends whatever you want you can set up several different times and remote start your vehicle for you so you don't forget uh, so that's a great feature as well you can also unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere using that so if you forgot to lock the vehicle you know, got on an airplane or something or whatever, you can even be across the country and you can remote, you can unlock and unlock your vehicle that way as well. You can even find your vehicle. So maybe you went to that game, that concert, can't remember where you parked your vehicle, what section or anything. You can go ahead and, and locate your vehicle using the app. Uh, I think it updates about every 30 minutes or 20 or 30 minutes at a time. And that way you can be able to see where your vehicle is located. Uh, and so that way you can find it that way as well. So some great, uh, great features. I love the features uh, along with that, but you can also schedule service through that. You can see the maintenance of your vehicle. You can see even how much gas you have in your vehicle using the service part of that app as well. So some great things that you can do. So definitely want to do that. And also it's going to come with Wi-Fi hotspots because it has an embedded modem. You have the capabilities if you want to buy that the unlimited data for that i think it's 20 bucks a month then everybody in the vehicle up to 10 different devices can be able to connect their modem to that so that way they're not using their own data and they're connecting to the wi-fi hotspot so that again that's an extra feature on top of the the uh, four pass connect but it is actually included within that uh, but is uh, extra service you don't have to purchase but is a great feature if you do so that's going to also be standard equipment on all your rangers now let's talk about the 501A equipment group. Now everything we talked about so far has been included in the 500A or standard equipment on your Lariat, but the 501A equipment group includes six great features within this uh, equipment group. Now, the first one to talk about is the remote start. Now uh, you can remote start the vehicle using the Ford Pass app if you'd like to, but if you're in close proximity, you can go ahead and use your remote, which is a little bit quicker, activates a lot faster as well, so that's gonna be included as part of this package. Also, the B&O audio sound system, that Bang & Olufsen with 10 hyper performance speakers and HD radio is going to be a part of this HD uh, 10 speakers for your super crew models I should say so a real nice sound uh, as well and they put the B&O in the F-150s so that's a uh, it's nice that they put these in the Lariat Rangers as well here also with this in this package you're going to get rain sensing wipers so What's great about that, if you put in one of those auto settings there, your intermittent settings on your wipers, when it starts to rain, it's going to automatically turn those wipers on for you, so you don't have to do that. And what I love about it is when you're having that intermittent settings, you know, where it keeps changing speed on you, you don't have to worry about messing with it and moving it around. It's going to automatically adjust the speed for that. 
Also, you're going to get windshield wiper de-icers. In the past, that's always been a luxury feature. Uh, that's going to be included in this. What's great about that is during those cold weather, when the, the windshield gets defrosted, those wipers sometimes still freeze up if they have water on them, and so that you can't really use them when, it, when you're driving along in inclement weather like that. So the windshield wiper de-icers will help with that. Also, you get the technology package as, as part of this as well in this equipment group, and that's going to include two features, and that's going to be your navigation system first, uh, that's uh, the voice enhance, enhanced activation system, so that goes hand in hand with the Sync 3. And so it's going to have the pinch and zoom capabilities. It's going to also come with the Sirius XM traffic and travel length. And did forget to mention Sirius XM satellite radio with standard equipment on your uh, Lariat trim on the 500A. And that's going to help with the XM traffic and travel length too. So that way you can see weather updates. You can look at the weather map. If you see a bad storm in front of you, you can pull that up on there. And then you can also see those different gas prices and things like that as well on there. So that's a great feature that's going to be included in this. So you, now you have the touchscreen navigation as part of this. And then you're going to get the adaptive cruise control as part of that technology package. So what's great about that is you can set the gap there on your steering wheel. And you're seeing it with this particular one earlier. I, I showed you a clip of that too. And so you adjust that gap. And if you go up behind somebody, you're going slower than or faster than they are, it's going to slow you down to go their speed so you don't rear in them and you don't have to press your, your brake whatsoever. You pass them or they speed back up and it's face to, uh, safe to resume, then it's going to resume that speed for you. So, and that'll really help. You'll use your brake a lot less. And it's just a nice convenience uh, feature to have for you as well as a nice safety feature. Now it's time to talk about some different optional packages that are available for you. And the first one to talk about, I like to talk about first, is the appearance packages. And we're going to talk about the chrome package since it's on this truck here. Uh, we'll talk about it first. Now it does require you to have at least a 501A equipment group to get the Lariat Chrome package. So uh, we've kind of been talking about and looking, about, uh, looking at this uh, for a while, so let's go ahead and, and talk about it. So the Chrome package for your Lariat is gonna include your Chrome bumpers on the front as well as the back up here. So you're gonna see it just like we do with this in here. We'll also on your Lariat models give you the Chrome tow hooks on the front up there. It's going to also upgrade to 18-inch chrome wheels uh, on your Lariat packages. Uh, on the XLT, it's a 17, so uh, that's going to include, because you get an 18-inch wheel on your standard equipment, uh, you're going to get an 18-inch chrome wheel, the chrome wheel you're seeing on this particular truck here. Chrome mirror caps as well is going to be part of this package. On your XLTs, it does not upgrade the mirror caps, so this is a nice upgrade for you. Get a nice chrome look there. Chrome door handles as well. Uh, they are going to still be the same um, the, with the intelligent access as well, so you have those chrome door handles there for you as well. And as I mentioned, not only the chrome bumpers in the back, uh, but your chrome appliques on that tailgate handles we talked about earlier. So that's all going to be part of this. You're also going to get the chrome uh, tail uh, pipe back here as well. The exhaust tip uh, is going to be chrome as well. So give it a nice look back there uh, on that as well. And so that's going to be all your standard equipment as uh, part of that chrome package. Now you can get this optional equipment, the chrome running boards as well. So this is going to be available for you uh, to be an upgrade on top of this package. Now let's talk about the Sport Appearance Package as well. Now this is not available on your, with your Chrome Package. Uh, it does require you to have the 501A Equipment Group. Now don't forget, going back to standard equipment, uh, you're going to have body colored uh, bumpers here on the front of standard equipment as well as mirror caps and door handles and tailgate handle as well. So keep that in mind when we're talking about the Sport Package. So these are the upgrades you're going to get uh, within this package. Uh, the grill up here will go from this chrome grill to a magnetic painted uh, grill up here. So kind of a gray grill with the, the gray bars there in the middle. You're going to get the black tow hooks that were standard equipment are going to stay up there on the front of it. The wheel lip moldings are going to go to magnetic painted wheel lip moldings. So a little bit different unique look here on the side of it. Your wheels are going to go from the stock 18 inch wheels to a 17 inch magnetic painted aluminum wheel. So you can as optional equipment if you want to on this package upgrade to an 18 inch machine aluminum wheel with magnetic painted pockets. So I'll give you a clip of what that, those two wheels are going to look like if you want to go with that. And we'll talk about that other optional wheel when we talk about optional equipment as well. Uh, of course, body color door handles and mirror caps as we talked about. Also over here on the side, you're going to see the sport decal on both sides of the truck. So hopefully you're getting some good clips from Ford's website, what those are going to look like for you over there. And then also uh, the back, of course, I, met, I mentioned they're going to have body colored appliques back there too. Now something that's not mentioned in the order guide, but I did notice it on Ford.com, uh, the vent covers are going to go from a chrome to a magnetic painted vent covers. Now we haven't had one show up at the dealership yet, uh, but uh, Ford 
Ford's website's really good. If you go to the build and price, uh, you can see exactly what these are going to look like and how the changes when you add those different packages. And that's what uh, Ford's website's showing. So hopefully you get a good clip of those things. Now you can get his optional equipment as well on the sport package, the black running boards on the side. So instead of the chrome, you can get some black ones. So real nice sport package that you might want to put on your truck, give it a nice flair to the truck as well. Another package I want to talk about that I'm really excited about is the FX4 off-road package. Uh, this package is going to be great for you. It's available on either of your equipment groups, so 500 or 501A equipment group. Also available with your different appearance packages too, so keep that in mind for you. The only requirement is that you have to have 4x4. Uh, of course, that kind of makes sense there. Now let me talk about what's included in this package. Now you're going to see the front is going to be upgraded quite a bit. So uh, I really love the look of it because it really gives it a nice Raptor kind of style look on the front. So this bumper is going to look totally different with the FX4 off-road package. You're going to have the exposed front tow hooks up there. But you can also have that bash plate, so it's going to remove the front air dam up there and give you that bash plate that's going to be on the front of it. You're also going to get skid plates under there that's going to protect your transfer case, your fuel tank, your rear differential, uh, and protect that under there from any kind of off-roading you might do. It's going to upgrade the shocks as well to an off-road off tuned shocks and suspension system. So real nice. Uh, you really have to see this in action because it'll do all kinds of off-roading and give you plenty of clearance on that suspension up there for you to be able to do any kind of off-roading you want to. So that's going to be included as well within this. You're going to have electronic locking rear differential as well. So that's going to help you out on any kind of off-roading you want to do as well. Of course, you're going to get your decal on the side, letting people know you have an FX4 off-road truck on both sides of the bed over there. Let's talk about inside the truck in a little bit here. You're going to have a little bit different look in your gauge and your cluster up there. You're going to have now in your productivity screen an off-road information setting in there. So that way you can see the different uh, graphics there and different numbers uh, for your off-roading that you want to do. And then it also includes two features, and this is what I'm most excited about. One of them is that terrain management system. We talked about that TM on that 4x4 uh, shift on the fly. That TM stands for terrain management. So you just press that and you can go ahead and all you have to do is press that. You look in your gauge cluster and you go ahead and change the uh, 4x4 by the conditions of your road. So you don't have to figure out if you need to be in 4 high, 4 low, uh, whatever you need to be. You just press that to the road conditions and it's going to go ahead and adjust it for you. So you know if you're in that rut mode or that snow mode or gravel, you know that and it's going to adjust the 4x4 to handle those different terrain for you. We only see that in the Explorer and your Raptor. So this, uh, it's also kind of rolling out in your uh, Expedition 2019. So you're going to really love uh, how that works. But this one also does have a technology that's only available in your Ranger and your Raptor, and that is the trail control. That's also included within, the, within this package. So what's great about that, there is a switch up there by the, the automatic stop start. You just move over to the left there. You do have the trail control. So what's great, I like to explain this is, it's like cruise control for your being on the trail. So you go ahead and hit that button, and it actually tells you what speed you want to keep your, your truck at. And it's going to go ahead and do that and take care of all the, the turning in of the wheels and to handle the trail. So it's going to do everything individually from each of the wheels. And it's just a great system. And this, this is something that I think even Jeep would dream of having on their vehicles. It's going to be able to, be able to take you on any kind of train you want to. So the Ranger really is set up to be an adventurer's truck uh, for you. So I think you really love this. And this is a great package uh, that is uh, available for you on your Rangers. Now we're going to talk about two other optional packages you can get. Uh, both of these include two features within them. The first one I want to talk about is your tow package. Now, tow package is available on the 500 or 501A equipment group, uh, either one, uh, and it's available on two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. So it's going to give you the receiver hitch back here that we, we're seeing on this one, so class four receiver hitch, and it's going to upgrade to four pin and seven pin wiring for you. And having the tow package is what's going to upgrade to that 7,000 pound towing capacity uh, that I've seen on some of the uh, different guides. Also, you can get the bed utility package. The bed utility package uh, is available on the four, 500 or 501A equipment group, uh, two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, it doesn't matter. And it's going to include a drop-in bed liner as part of the package. And uh, bed drop-in bed liner is not available as optional equipment or standalone options. So if you want a drop-in liner, you're going to have to get the bed utility package, but it'll also come with a 110 or a PowerPoint here in the back too. So that way, if you want to do some tailgating or something, you can power in any uh, other devices back here in the back. Now the other package I want to talk about uh, for you before we go on the standalone options is going to be the technology package. We've already kind of talked about the features within that package, but the technology package 
is a standalone option on the 500A equipment group. So if you don't want to get all those other features, you don't need the remote start, some of those other features, but you want that technology package, uh, you can get it as a standalone option on the 500A. And uh, don't forget, it's going to include your voice activated navigation with the pinch and zoom capabilities, and it's going to include the adaptive cruise control. And we've already talked about those features. If you did miss that, go ahead and move uh, back to the 501A equipment group where I do discuss the, those two features there. Now let's talk about some other standalone options for you. And we already mentioned this already in the sport appearance section, um, but in case you missed it, you can upgrade as long as you have the sport appearance package to an 18 inch magnetic painted, or actually it's a machine aluminum wheel with magnetic painted pocket. So that is the only optional wheel for you. So uh, basically there are three wheels that are available. Uh, if I want to put, just simplify it for you, you have the, the 18 inch uh, wheel that comes standard equipment on your uh, truck, or you can get the chrome package wheel like you're seeing with this one, or you can get the 17 or 18 inch sport wheels, but it does require to have the sport package as well as these chrome wheels require to have the chrome package. Uh, now let's talk about running boards over here too. So uh, the, the chrome running boards, as we mentioned earlier, are only available on the chrome package. You cannot get the chrome running boards unless you get the chrome package. The black running boards, though, on the other hand, are available as optional equipment, not only as on the sport package, but also optional on the 500 or 501A equipment group as a standalone option. Does not require to have either of the two appearance package. So the only running board you can get if you don't get an appearance package. Two other great features as well as standalone options. One of them is the engine block heater. So engine block heater is available for you, especially if you live in a state that's cold all the time, you wanna be able to get that uh, heated up and started easily, get that engine block heater and that'll help you out. Also, electronic locking rear differential. So if you don't get the FX4 off-road package, but you want that on your 4x4 vehicle, you can get the electronic locking rear differential. Uh, and that is available on the 500 or 501A equipment group, as well as the engine block heater is also available on either of those two equipment groups. So that's all your standalone options, but I do wanna talk about some accessories next. Now we're going to talk about accessories, and when I talk about that, it means that you can be ordered those from the factory, or you can even get them afterwards from your Ford dealership, and it'll be ordered and come to the dealership, and they'll install them for you. Now, the Ranger isn't one of the most accessorized vehicles, so I'm just going to cover the accessories that are on the order guide, uh, and then uh, from there, you can order all kinds of other things. If you look, if you talk to any kind of aftermarket department, we have one here. Uh, there's, they're, they're saying the Ranger will be one of the most accessorized trucks, and they, even at the auto show, they're showing some cool accessories you can add to these uh, that's not even showing on the order guide. So first I want to talk about our bed covers. So you can get three different bed covers for the Ford Ranger. You can get either a soft folding bed cover that's going to go over here uh, and fold up for you. You can also get a hard folding tonneau cover. So it's going to be I think a tri-fold, maybe even four spots that it folds up in there and I'll give you a clip off Ford's website of that. Uh, that's available for you as well. Or one of my favorites is the retractable bed cover. So that's going to have a, a thing back here so you can retract that uh, into the back, uh, towards the back of the cab uh, and that's available for you too. So three different options for bed covers. Now let's talk about protecting the inside of the bed. You do have the bed utility package if you have that that has a drop-in bed liner. Or if you want, you can go with the spray-in bed liner, which you can get from the factory. It's a tough spray-in liner. Uh, they'll put that in from the factory, or you can even, we have a, we're a certified rhino liner dealer, so if you decide uh, you find one out there you, you maybe want, doesn't have any kind of bed liner, you can get a spray-in liner uh, several different places after you get your truck. Now let's talk about some other accessories, one of them being the mud flaps or splash guards. You can get those put on your truck as well. They're going to come down and kind of protect it so that way if you, you know, your tires are turning and maybe you're going into dirt roads a lot or mud, kind of help protects the, the, the truck a little bit by being able to have most of those hit those mud flaps there. So that's available for you as optional equipment. Also, you can get inside the floor liners, the all-weather floor liners in there, in the footwells for the front seat, as well as the footwells for the back seat as well. So you can get that as optional equipment. You still get the carpeted mats, but then you'd get those as well to go along with it. And then you can get a secure code, passive uh, uh, door code here for you. I believe that goes here on the door itself. And so that way you can set it up. Really, it's a keyless entry one, so it basically works like a keyless entry, but you can set your own personal code for that and that would go on by the, on the driver's door of the vehicle and that's available as optional equipment too. So again, these are the accessories on the order guide. Again, there are gonna be so many more other accessories you can get through a local aftermarket department. 
So that's all your standards was optional equipment on your Lariat trim of the 2019 Ford Ranger. So hopefully this is very informative for you and, and helpful. Uh, don't forget about the warranties, three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty, as well as a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and a five year, 60,000 mile roadside assistance. So it's gonna come with all your Ford vehicles. Uh, so real nice warranties, uh, it's gonna cover uh, quite a few things there too. Check out our website, lawmacarthur.com. They're in each one of our vehicles. You can check for availability, schedule a test drive. You can see pictures. You can also see a 360 degree walk around on all of our vehicles. So it's an outside as well inside. We can spin the vehicle around like you'd see on Ford's website, as well as you can pull up the window sticker. So it's gonna be right below the photos there. And there's a link there for the window sticker. So you can see the standard equipment as well as what optional equipment was put on that particular vehicle. So I do recommend you do that. Uh, sometimes on the website, uh, they're pulling from the VIN number and doesn't always get the optional equipment correct. So make sure you're pulling that window sticker. You can see what was ordered on this particular vehicle. If you have any questions, of course, you can call or send us a text message to 785-378-5031 or you can call us toll free 1-800-874-6316. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the 2019 Ford Ranger Lariat. Thanks for watching this video on our YouTube channel. I do have a special offer for all of our YouTube viewers and that is they're gonna be free shipping on any one of our vehicles right to your door as long as you live within 48 states. And we do ask you, require you to finance it with us here at Long MacArthur. And, and the reason we do that is if we're very transparent about it, the shipping is not free to us. It does cost us money. Uh, and with our great internet pricing, a lot of times we don't have a lot of extra money to cover for our shipping. But if you finance a vehicle with us, then our lender gives us a kickback for the financing deal and that's how we're able to do that. So it's just help, a way to help us get a vehicle to someone. We've had a lot of people ask us that they'd like to work with us, but we're not close enough to them. So it's not really feasible for them costly wise. So this is something we can provide for them. So if you're wanting to make sure you get a, a great vehicle from a dealership that knows their product and will order the truck exactly the way you want to, definitely reach out to us. Again, you can call us or send us a text message at 785- 378-5031 or toll free 1-800-874-6316. Uh, so thanks for uh, watching this video. If you have any comments, put them down below. I really appreciate all that feedback. I read all those comments and respond myself. If you have any questions, if I miss something, let me know that as well. Uh, I am, uh, there's a lot of information here. So sometimes I do miss some things and I wanna make sure that I have all the accurate information on this video. So I'll definitely highlight those comments so you can see uh, anything that I might've missed there. And don't forget, and look at that description down below. Timestamps as well as prices on those packages will be listed down there too. So thanks for watching this video. If you did like it, go ahead and smash that like button and let other people know it's a great video they need to watch. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to reach out to me on social media, you can find me. I'm at Tim Bartz on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, that way you can communicate with me if you want to and follow me there. Uh, I do, every time I post this video, I do uh, post a link on our, my, our Twitter page. And I also uh, go ahead and put it on to not only Law MacArthur's, but also my, my own. So definitely, if you're wanting to get updated uh, right away and you follow uh, Twitter, go ahead and do that as well. Again, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't had a chance yet, if this is first time watching one of our videos and you want to subscribe to our channel, hit that uh, logo right there in the middle of the page, or you can hit the subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so you can get notified next time we have another video uploaded to our channel. If you want some recommended videos, we have two here on the page. One of them is going to be our Ford product lineup uh, videos. You can check those out. And then the other one is going to be our Ranger playlist. If you're looking for that XLT video, that's where you're going to want to go. So again, thanks for watching these videos. We'll see you later.